and welcome to another episode of the John Gill Podcast Show. On this episode, we wanted to go ahead and walk through one of the projects that we're currently working on. As you can see around us, uh, all of the flooring has been completely removed. Um, above us, the flooring has been completely removed. And below us, same thing. We're dug down and uh, you know, we're going to be uh, raising the floor to ceiling height. Uh, and that's what we've done there. So, you know, go ahead and let's follow, uh, follow me. We're gonna walk through. Okay, so we are now at the second floor, second level. We're gonna have two bedrooms up here, uh, two bathrooms, and uh, it'll also have its own washer and dryer. As you can see, everything's gutted out to the studs. You know, the best thing to do, really, in any renovation, sometimes trying to keep a lot of what's there uh, ends up actually worse off. So it's better to just scrape, start with the new canvas and get everything squared away. The project should be finished in about six months. What you want to do when you start off with any renovation is you want to go ahead and, you know, obviously you're going to get your contractor in there, right? But uh, as far as the actual rehab goes, you know, first thing is demo. Just demo everything out completely, completely. You know, we thought at one point we we're going to be able to save the flooring. And as you can see, we did not. So let's go ahead and check out some other part of the property here. Down here, what we've decided to do, you know, as I said, we went ahead and removed all of the flooring. You can see that we've got the drain tile uh, right along here. We inserted a structural beam, and this is gonna add support to the, uh, to the property. Um, you know, you can see that the concrete is all the way up. This right here also protects, uh, it's kind of like a waterproofing. The plumbers put, uh, I'm sorry, the. Uh, the concrete guy actually takes care of that. So, you know, again, the plumbing is the, uh, after the demo, you know, the plumbers are already in here doing what they have to do. Um, you know, the concrete guy did some foundation here all along the perimeter of the property. Uh, next up is gonna be the framing. And after the framing, we're gonna have the electricians and plumbers complete what they have to complete. And then after that, we'll have, uh, we'll have some drywall and uh, and then all the finishes. So uh, basically, this is how, how it looks. Here's, here's a project that we've started. Um, it's always good to just see things as they are in progress, right? So when it's all said and done, what we're gonna have here is, uh, we're now in the basement. We'll have two bedrooms down here. We're gonna have two bedrooms on the main floor. And on the second floor, we'll have two bedrooms. So we're talking six bedrooms, uh, six bathrooms, I mean, basically, it's going to be nuts. Um, anyway, so hope you like what you've seen. Uh, this was a property that we picked up directly. Uh, this was a distressed property. Uh, we got it completely under market. You know, comparables in the area are going for about sixty to seventy thousand. That are in tough shape. Uh, I take that back. Actually, some of them up to like ninety to a hundred. We were able to secure this for about forty-four thousand. And uh, yeah, I mean. Uh, you know, the part of real estate is buying right, buying cheap, right? Because even if you don't know what you're doing at the end of the day, if you bought right, you can still make some mistakes and have enough cushion there that you'll make a profit in the end. So hope you like what you've seen. And uh, yeah, just giving you a tour of what we've got going on.